Welcome to my iDevices and today I'm gonna show you how to update your own iPod, iPhone, iPad uh, to the new say, software firmware and it's 5.0.1 and let's see how. So here's the iPod. I'm gonna put it here. Now, if I'm going to open it, okay, I'm going to go to settings to make sure that you see all right everything. I will down the brightness. So, go to general. Here, you can see the second one. Let's see from the first. That's the home screen. Go to settings. Go to down after you find this icon. General. Go to software update. And here we'll check for update. And you can see iOS 5.0.1. It's also just a 40 megabyte. And here. Now 5.0.1. It's 40 mega. Just 40 mega megabyte. Now, this is update. Uh, this update contains important and other bug fixes, including fixing fixes bugs of, uh, affecting battery life. Uh, adds multitasking uh, gestures for original iPad. Resolves bugs for, uh, with documents in the cloud. Improves voice recognition for Australian users using distortion so here you can learn more and learn maybe if you are using 5.0 for the first time a uh, the firmware 5 iOS 5 and you have been not used the iPhone uh, iOS 5 beta before because the beta from a uh, third reason uh, season uh, it was uh, an update like this, but now maybe the first time you do the update I, if you watch this video. Now also just uh, click on download and install and here uh, you can see terms and the uh, conditions. Apple IA software license agreement and here you just click agree but first not reading all. I don't think that there is a one who read it. But read the the, the the titles, and if you have something that is wrong, whatever, read the text and say why and fix your own iPhone before you do that. After that, click agree, and here software update. Connect your iPod Touch to the power source while the download is in progress to save battery, and I will connect it now. But uh, let's just a minute. Yeah. And here are now power. I will put a power into the iPod. And here you can see that is now in the power. Put the password. And here. Now Connect your iPod, uh, your iPod Touch to a power source while the downloading is process uh, to save battery. Okay, battery, and now it's in the power source. Click OK, and now it will start downloading the firmware, and it will f take five minutes, three minutes, or two minutes. Sometimes it's a good more. That means the internet connection is low, but uh, I have a high connection, like you see, three, and he says to me just two minutes. Now I will pass the the recording after the download is finished. Okay, I back and here 
the update they uh, finished downloading I think so and just the minute to eat it cam like this that's okay okay yeah the update Now, a, in this uh, thing of updating, uh, you can also update from computer, and I will make a video about a, updating uh, the phone from also the software update button in the settings, or from the iTunes uh, to see who is better, uh, what kind of updating is better. But uh, yeah, that's also a good uh, way to update your own iPhone or your own iPod or your own iPad. Uh, so also I'll show to you that is 5.0 uh, update from and you can and I will show to you how to update for 5.0.1 from the computer I think you know that because it's easy just uh, connect your iPod to the iTunes click on update and that's it now here is it let's see so iOS 5.0 will be installed in two seconds your iPod will restart then will turn on the bra 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 okay so he uh, is now verifying, uh, verifying the update if it's original, and uh, what uh, and uh, all of this kind of uh, uh, of verifying. Now here is uh, restarting the iPod Touch. Now the iPod uh, is restarting. It will take half a minute to restart and turn on to the get apple icon now after that 10 seconds to get a black screen 2 seconds to be an apple icon 4 seconds to down the high shirt that called and 5 seconds to start downloading the update after that will take as minutes as the speed of the of the i device that you have and uh, and it i think it will not take a lot uh, cuz that is an update uh, that you downloaded it also before so not like a pc now here yeah, a maybe now he is verifying with a company that means connecting to Wi-Fi I don't know all of this identifying firmware with the iPod also a hey, uh, fixing something something and uh, all of this so I put the iPhone just a minute here where is the mm. Okay, just a minute. Now you uh, you start the download. I just want to clean the screen. Okay. Here yeah, you can see that is a uh, the update start now. One minute I will turn off the flash. Now it's black screen. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Uh, yeah. So you can see that is the download. Also installing 5.0.1 on the iBot Touch. I think with the flash is more better to see to with high quality or high definition. So 
you can uh, see that is the iPod now is installing and uh, so what about the uh, if you have also jailbreaking iPod and what do you uh, also I can say if you have a jailbreaking iPhone or jailbreaking iPod or iPad and you want to update it they uh, maybe better to update it from iTunes from the computer I think so maybe there is will uh, problems will appear in the update from the phone so just make uh, an update from the the iTunes in the computer I think it's better if you have a jailbreaking iPod or jailbreaking uh, i device that's what I want to see so but if you don't uh, have a jailbreaking I de I device I think is to update it from the iPod is better uh, it's not fair uh, more fast from the computer but uh, I think it's better than than it now maybe it will restart your your own iPod again and again uh, many times but that's what you search you must uh, do it so just wait for download f finished Now I will continue on this, but here I'm going uh, there. I'm opening the iTunes and I'll see what kind of software thing there. So um, checking for updates now, and here is it. It's finished and uh, now the update finished downloading installing that is the install not the download the download is the space or the uh, how can I say it the first step that we do it is the downloading and now is this installing and after that the i the iPod or the i device or whatever whatever from i device will restart turn on and it will work great <coughs> now it's not an installing also uh, that's not an installing that's a uh, uh, reviving the app store if the apps that you downloaded before or the picture and whatever you have is originally uh, that uh, are original not uh, downloaded in uh, from abster a uh, installer from the joel breaking programs now after he search that uh, and make the file scan for any uh, unoriginal application game the i the i but i think will turn on and here we made an i but one minute and here we made an update for the i but but the password i'm going to put my password here so uh, you can see that's the application that i have before still the same application same message same app store and whatever so I'm gonna show to you that we make an update by go to general first I'm gonna so sir show to you that your software updated now if I go to about you can see that the version minute 5.0 
on it. Now we can see it better maybe. 5.0 so that's it that's the update using the iPhone or the iPod or the iPad iDevice with now using iTunes and you can see it's updated and now you have fixed that battery live and all of this that you have a problem before and it's work fine so that is it and uh, thank you for watching.